Charlotte, more Wisconsin. I like this. We need like something that could light up the the, the states, you know, when, when when people come on board. That'd be kind of cool. That would be good. Uh, a map, a heat map. Yeah, and that'd be neat. Yeah. Pittsburgh, right. Arkansas is awesome, says Tim. It is awesome. All right, it's noon. You ready to get started? Yes, I am. Let me turn the music off. I got to go like that. And let me, uh, like Julie, I'm going to close my camera, but you can still see me, right? I can still see you. Okay, good. I'm ready, Jules. All right, we're ready. Welcome, welcome everybody to today's webinar. We are so excited about today's topic. As Daryl just said, we've been working on it for weeks. How to become a listing machine in the next 90 days. My name is Julie and I'll be your moderator today to get the most from today's sessions. Wait, sorry, Jules, wait, I got a problem here. Okay, there we go. Pay attention, come on now. No, no, the thing wasn't working, go ahead. We want you to focus on audio, not the visuals. So text your questions using the Q&A panel um, on your control panel. You guys are doing a great job with that already. Um, we'll take as many questions at the end as we can. If at any time after the webinar. All right. You want to before, before I'm Julie, going I'm going to interrupt you. you. Julie, I want to interrupt you just to point out. I want everybody, because I don't think we have this in our quote unquote script. The downloadable gift that we're giving everybody is in that control panel, not on the screen here, but the control panel should show a PDF Perfect. called, uh, where is it now? Do you have it there, Jules? A handout. It says handout. It's under handouts, yep. And if you go to handout, if you click on that 12 strategies, you can download the ebook that we gave you as a gift. There's a lot of great content in that. So, all right, so Jules, I'll give it back to you. Perfect. If you want to connect with Daryl after the webinar, you can reach him on all our social media platforms. I'm at Daryl Speaks. Can everybody hear us? Can you hear me, Daryl? No, I can't. Now I can. Okay, good. Um, Daryl's been in the business for 25 years, training and coaching agents and his one day speaking engagements all over the globe. His, except for what was it, Montana? <laughs> his training program, <laughs> his three books, and his powerful coaching, training, and marketing program, thepowerprogram.com. Daryl's the author of three books, all published by McGraw Hill. The first one, How to Become a Power Agent in Real Estate, is actually the number one book sold to realtors on Amazon. How about that? Daryl was also named. You're cutting out, Jules. You're cutting out. Can you hear me? You're yeah, you're cutting out. So I'm going to take over, okay? So, Jules, okay. make sure you can hear me because, yeah, you're starting to come in and out. So, um, Julie is supposed to say right now, <laughs> First Media <laughs> has labeled me one of the top five real estate coaches. If you cannot make the photos out of the other four coaches, don't worry about it. They're not important. <laughs> Okay, just trying to have a little fun, gang. I'm very honored to be one of the, I think, only two speakers in the real estate industry uh, that have the National uh, Association Real uh, National Speaker Association designation called CSP. I just got it's top two percent of all speakers have that. Now I feel like I'm bragging because Julie should be bragging about me. And <laughs> in 1993, uh, what I'm going to teach you today is based on the Power Program. This is our coaching program. Um, our power agents, when they start the process with us over a course of a year, <clears throat> their average production is 15 transactions. When they graduate, they're doing 35. And if I put that to dollars and cents, the average power agent generates an additional $33,000 over their previous year. So I'm going to get into this content now. I just wanted to give you a little background in case there was anybody on this call. Uh, hey, Julie. Yes, sir. Okay, so we just maxed out. Um, there's still people trying to get on the webinar. So if you can just uh, let uh, Sarah, Sarah know. Sarah. Yeah, see if we can fix that. <clears throat> All right. Gang, we've actually exploded the webinar. There's way more people on the call than we can handle. So uh, my office is gonna fix that. Okay, now, two questions. Let me just share with you the commitment of the webinar. So when we promoted this webinar, I don't know about you, when I've attended certain webinars, they say they're going to do something and they don't actually do that. 
<clears throat> so I want to put it right up front. Here's what I'm going to teach you, and you can hold me accountable to see if I actually teach this. What we advertise on the website for you is we're going to explain how a homeowner, why you should explain to a homeowner why now is a good time to sell before prices drop. Now, I know that kind of sounds negative. Uh, I know the market is going well. Um, I'm not saying that the market's going to fall out like it did in 2006, but when we speak to homeowners, if they're on the fence about selling, we do want to put a little bit of fear, like plan for the worst and hope for the best. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that on this call. Also, I'm going to share with you the six best sources of listing leads. We're going to uh, share with you a dialogue on how to get 50% of the for sale bonus to call you back when you leave them a voicemail. The four parts of a really successful listing appointment and how to list three out of five appointments um, when you go on those appointments. I'm awesome to share that with you. I'm excited. How to position yourself to thrive in today's market and how to make an extra hundred grand this year. So that's what we're going to cover. I need to cover a couple of questions first before we get into the content. Number one is people been emailing and asking, Daryl, when are you coming to speak in my area live? And if you just jot down that website, don't go to any websites now. I want you to focus on the webinar. It's poweragentsseminar.com. So when you go there, you'll see the cities that I'm going to be at. In some cases, the states, there's more than one city. Just click through and you'll see where I am. And we're always updating that website. The second question, is this a webinar sales pitch? And this is really for the people who don't know me. Everybody on this call that knows me um, knows that's not my style. But I do want to be clear, though, okay? This webinar is actually uh, designed for our power agents, the people that are in our coaching program. So I'm going to be referencing certain pages or um, links that is exclusive to our power agents. But the reason why we open this webinar to non-power agents is because even though you're not a power agent, the content you're going to learn is what I just promised mom moments ago, okay? So this can be valuable for everybody. Uh, for those of you though that are not, hang on a second, I'm getting an error message. For those of you that are not power agents, I just want to explain to you real quick what that program is, and that way you'll understand this material. This is a monthly program, it's only $27 a month. Um, the first 30 days are free, actually. So anybody that wants to sign up today, you can cancel anytime. So there's no long-term contract. And you will get a copy after the webinar of these slides and actually this recording. By the way, do me a favor, gang. On the bottom of the website, and this is for the non-power agents. Power agents, you'll have this in the, in the website itself. Non-power agents, jot down this website, thepowerprogram.com forward slash webinar bonus. Don't go there now, please. Just write it down, thepowerprogram.com forward slash webinar bonus. I'll have that on a couple other screens, so it'll be there for you. There's three skill sets that we believe power agents, every successful agent should have in real estate. One is the skill of your attitude. And the reason why this is important, gang, is because you know, all right, we, let's say we know that prospecting is important, calling FISBOs and expireds. But if you don't feel like prospecting, you're not going to. So having, um, being self-motivated, being a self-starter, having the right attitude about yourself, your abilities, your confidence, all of that is a separate skill set from the listing and selling skills of real estate. This is learning what to say, when to say it, how to say it when you're belly to belly, face to face with the buyer or seller. Then the third one is the business skills. You know, how to run your business like a business, how to manage your money. How, to me, when, when we hear or learn about <clears throat> self-promotion, advertising, postcards, mailing, to me, that's business skills, that's marketing, that's self-promotion. But uh, websites, Facebook, but when you get an appointment, when you're belly to belly in front of a buyer or a seller, what to say, when to say, and how to say it, that's the listing and selling skills. And of course, again, the attitude. Now, <clears throat> Just so we're clear about this program, this is when you sign up as a power program, uh, as a power agent, this is the homepage. And what we've done is when you go to classroom there, we've taken all of the skill sets in real estate. Like you'll see at the top there, it says coaching, it says farming, self-promotion, listing appointment. And when you click on one of those tabs, there is all of the plethora of information that we have there for you. 
every one of those lines is a letter, a dialogue, or a script. It's really quite loaded. And every month we're putting new stuff. This is uh, just an example of July. This is just the things that we posted in July. And then August, we have a whole new set. So it really is full of scripts and dialogues and eBooks for you to help support you. And this is part of that $27 a month membership with our interviews of, our, of other top power agents that we do every month. We transcribe that, we give you the recording. Um, this is the uh, screenshot of the Facebook closed group that we have for people, for the power agents. And we, we upload tons of stuff in the Facebook page. Um, this is something that I just want to tell the power agents because this is new that we just added about a month ago or so where every week I'm available. You can call in on Mondays on a designated phone number that's blacked out on the screen, but you call into a phone number and I'm available for one hour every Monday. And what's awesome about this is the agents are telling us that if you have any challenges during the week, you can come to the call and ask me and then you get one-on-one -on -one coaching, but there is other people listening in on it. And um, so that's that. We're just going to finish this up. There is a newsletter. Everybody on this call, including the our power agents, you should be getting a newsletter from us that's loaded with techniques every Tuesday. Now, if you're not getting it, and that's why I wanted to mention it, please let my office know. Check your spam folder. But these newsletters are training newsletters for you. And there's uh, videos, there's blog, there's a ton of stuff there for you. Power Agents, we're going to be adding a membership directory on the website so you can network with one another. Um, look for that coming out in the next 45 days. The last thing is, or second to last thing, is that um, we 10% of, the, we created a foundation called America's Hope for America's Children for our Power Agents, and 10% of our revenue goes to that foundation we give to other charities. Here's the charities that we gave to last year, and I'm proud to say that the Power Agents uh, have given uh, last year over $10,000. So we have a cause in, in helping children in America. Okay, so that's the uh, update of what the power program is. And I hope you guys decide to join us. Let's get into the content. So what I've done is for you to create a surge of listings in the next 90 days is I made it very simple as to three things that you need to do to have that happen. I'm gonna share the three and I'm gonna teach in each one of those three. And the reason why I, I'm teaching you just the three is because less is more. So I know you know this. Sometimes we try and do too much and we feel scattered. If you are really committed to building inventory in the next 90 days, what you need to do is do less other stuff, right? You need to zero in laser beam focus on, all right, here is what I'm committed to. Let me give you those three things. First of all, you've got to have a strong listing conversation. If you don't have a listing appointment that you feel good about, you're not going to want to do step two, this the second step. Because it's almost like if you get an appointment and you don't have a strong, passionate conversation that's structured, um, you're going to sabotage yourself in actually getting the appointments. You know, one of the things I learned early on about in the speaking business is that part of when you're getting into being a speaker, Every experienced speaker will tell you this. You have to have a message that you're passionate about sharing with others. If you're passionate about sharing a particular message, then it's not going to seem like prospecting. It's going to seem like you're trying to help people. The same is true here when it comes to our business. Having that passionate conversation, commitment of something you want to share with homeowners, which brings us to the second thing is you got to focus on now business. There are so many different things that we can be doing to generate listing appointments. A lot of the things that we do is to avoid actually the best sources of leads, the ones that would generate listings now. So I'm gonna share with you uh, six, I think is what we said, six numbers, uh, six sources of leads. Of, yes, it's six that you should focus on in the next 90 days. The third thing is we gotta stay focused and be held accountable. When uh, left to our own devices, we usually like to sleaze that. So let me, you know, we do what we feel like doing. Let's go to the first one having a strong listing conversation. Now, uh, one of our students, um, John Gadalfo, when he took the program with what I'm gonna share with you, he said, boy, I made $323,000 in my second year real estate because of what Daryl taught me. Now, I wanna be clear with you. I'm gonna go back for a second. <clears throat> this topic that I'm gonna cover with you, this alone I could spend an hour. As a matter of fact, let me see if that's the next slide. No, it's not. 
these three things I'm going to, I can't delve deep in each one of the three because each one would take an hour by itself. So I'm going to highlight some of the most important parts of each one of these three. So in creating a strong listing conversation, one of the things I'm going to recommend you do is use the news from today as motivational tools for buyers and sellers. So, and, and in my opinion, it should be recognizable news sources, right? Like, um, I'm, I'm not going to mention, I don't, I don't want people to be like, oh, they're looking at the screen. Oh, they're fake news. No, no, they're fake news. So I don't want to get political here about fake news. <laughs> what I'm trying to communicate is that we have, <laughs> thanks, Jewel. Um, how are we working on that thing? Did we fix that? I think so. Uh, you know what? I don't care. Let me keep teaching. Don't care. Just keep going. We're good. That's right. So, uh, so let me give you an example of what I'm trying to say here. So, oh, but I'm going to go back. What I suggest you do is uh, subscribe to news feeds like what you see on the screen. Now, we happen to subscribe to all of these. And so we sift through them. And I'm going to show you as an example. For our power agents, we have a closed Facebook group where I share these articles. Now you'll see with that little arrow there, it says CNBC, the Fed didn't raise rates this time, but will again, here's how to prepare for the next hike. A lot of us know on this call that the Fed has raised the uh, interest rates and they're probably gonna do it again. And um, so I shared this article and you'll see at the top, I, let me see, I say, show this to buyers to tell, hey buyers, you should buy now before they raise the rates again. So it's a motivation tool to get buyers to pull the trigger. Let me show you on a seller side. You'll see realtor.com, you'll have, um, you'll never guess how far new home prices have dropped. And then at the top I wrote there, it's an article to help homeowners who are on the fence about selling, use this article to tell them to plan for the worst and hope for the best. They should sell now while the market is in their favor and price it aggressively. Let me share with you one others. Uh, this was uh, money, uh, CNN, their money division, two recession warning signs. And again, I said, listen, let's assume the worst, plan for the, be uh, plan for the worst, hope for the best. These are all kind of uh, uh, articles that are happening today that you can share with buyers and sellers. Now, uh, power agents, I'm going to talk to the power agents for a second. When you go to classroom, you'll see all those tabs but at the bottom you see the facebook link so if you're if you didn't join the facebook group yet if you click on that link it'll bring you to the the closed power agent group and that's where you'll see me posting stuff like this which by the way i just a couple of days ago just posted some from fox business has the housing market peaked and that was another article to show homeowners to take them off the fence now here's the next part about having a strong listing conversation. Let me go with you through how to put together an actual book. Now, I'm not going too deep on this. Let me sh see what this is. For those the power agents, I want you to, if you want to learn an hour on this one topic, when you go to webinars, you will see that there was a webinar I did in May, Mastering the Listing Appointment, which actually goes through these four sections. So right now in this call, I'm just going to highlight the four sections, but that webinar gets into it a lot more detailed. So, all right, let's take a deep breath and go on to the next thing. Real, R-E-A-L. Gang, the reason why I use real as the analogy for a listing appointment is because the philosophy that I have that I encourage our power agents to have is to not sell people, but to serve people, not to close people, but to coach people. That, um, you know, not to be scripted on a listing appointment, to talk from your heart, not your head. And so here's how I teach the, that listing appointment. The R would stand for the rapport. Obviously, you want to connect with that homeowner. They need to like you. I don't care what company you're with. If they don't like you, they ain't listing with you. So you need to get that connection going. After you built rapport, you're going to engage that homeowner in the conversation. And how do you do that is by asking questions. Now, even though we don't have the time for me to go deep on the listing appointment, I do want to take a moment and share this distinction with you. The old sales approach to real estate was that you would ask questions to find a problem so you can offer a solution. And in my opinion, that sounds a little bit you know, salesy, salesy, like you know, old school stuff, right? I tell my power agents, I want you to ask questions to find out what the homeowner's committed to. You see, let me highlight this 
No homeowner sells a house just to sell a house. They're selling their house because they're committed to going somewhere in their life. They're committed to their next level. And what we do as listing agents is we don't really just help sell the house. What we actually do is help the homeowner move from point A to point B. In other words, we focus on helping them get to their next level in their life. Now, this is a little bit of a woo-woo approach, but I will tell you something. I want to show you one of my students, Janet Livingston. I don't know if Janet is on the call, but she posted this in the Power Agent Close Group. <clears throat> and here's what she said. Daryl, I use your approach. And she words it a little bit different. It's about them, not the house. To get them to sign, it works. In other words, what Janet is referring to is that she focused more on the homeowner's commitment about moving to their next level, that the house, selling the house is not the end result people are committed to. Selling the house is a means to a bigger end. So when you're on that listing appointment and you're asking those questions, you're asking the questions to get clear about what their commitment is. Now, after you're clear about what their commitment is, you're gonna give them some advice. In other words, you're gonna coach them. You're gonna coach them how to accomplish what they're committed to. Now, what we did, I'm real proud of this, and Julie was so instrumental in this. She did, just did a beautiful job. We put together a sample listing book appointment, what it would look like. So I'm going to just touch upon this real quick for you because, again, I've got so much more to teach you. How are we doing on the time? Wow. So the first section of a listing conversation should have something about yourself, your credentials, your experience. So that's the first section. There's, there's these sections. Here's the second section. You want to share about your company. Now, I want to clarify something about that section. This is not when you talk about marketing tools. So if your company does advertising on television, I don't want you to talk about that here. This section is the company's credibility. Market share, the history, how long they've been around, how many agents, et cetera. The marketing tools will come later. The third section, it's actually two parts. So you'll see the first part is you're giving the homeowner an update, what's happening in your local market based on list price to sales price ratio. Are property values gone up? Have they gone down? Are they stayed the same? Is the days on market different? So you're sharing MLS stats about your local market. Then the next section is you want to validate the power of working with a realtor because this appointment is really geared towards um, talking to a for sale by owner, why they should be working with a realtor. And then there's the other sections that we did here, like where do buyers come from? Most of them come from real estate agents. Then there's other articles and analogies to share with the homeowner why working with a realtor is better than being a FISBO, that actually being a FISBO costs you money. Then the next section is here's how, I want to just go back so you guys get this. <clears throat> See, I told you we have another webinar that goes just into the listing appointment for a whole hour, right? But here, what we're doing is a little bit about me, a little bit about my company, and then getting them to get in, buy into the value of working with a realtor, our industry. Once they see the value of realtor, then you share with them what you do specifically to market their home. And this is where you're going to talk about MLS, brokers, open house, um, broker opinion sheet, et cetera. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Public open house, professional yard sign. Now, what you'll see on the screen, what we teach our power agents is to explain public open house with a metaphor analogy. The professional yard sign with an analogy, feature sheet. Like every time you explain it, it should be using an analogy. The last part of the listing conversation is to agree on the marketing price, where you're going to put it out at, okay? So that's um, the overview. And the last part is list and leave and get the heck out of there before they change their minds. <laughs> okay. So gang, that is the overview of how to put the listing appointment together. I want to just tell you where this is, uh, where we get into it more deep. When you're in classroom, if you click on listing appointment, you will see those slides. It's also under a new tab that we gave for new agents. And you'll also see the webinar in there. So that's number one is have a strong listing conversation. The second thing you need to do is focus on now sources of listing leads. One of our students from Kansas, he said uh, um, the long-term benefits of utilizing this, he increases listing inventory by 60% over his previous year. So let me share with you 
the now leads. I'm going to go through the six and then I'm going to teach each one real quick. One is FISBOs. Now, any of you have been on the call or my power agents, you know that I'm passionate about the first sale by owners and how you should focus on that. And the reason being is because that's totally now business, right? Uh, the second one is, uh, hang on, is expired. Uh, third is expired for two years. Now, I haven't taught this recently, but I've been thinking about this. Gang, there are people who are expired listings from two years ago, okay? They, they, the house didn't sell, they took it off the market, and but they may be coming back to it. They may be thinking about it again. So we created some dialogue for you to how to get to the, it's like calling expireds that are actually two years old. Uh, now's the time for those people to sell. Uh, there's a ton of business there. Houses for rent, orphans, I'll explain what orphans are, and then door knocking an offer for a neighborhood market report. Now, I I, I'm giving you these in the order that I think are the most important. I just wanna say something to the students who have been with me before. Some of you have seen me do a similar list to this, talking about FISBOs and expireds. Gang, the reason there's, the, no matter what, I'm not gonna give something new that is not as good as those. You know, my students that might have heard me do, do this before, here's my question for you is, are you working the physicals and expires on a regular basis? If you're not, you need to, that's the best source of leads right now. Let's talk about the for sale by owner. This, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is my specialty. As a matter of fact, this is me on Long Island uh, this year teaching a class, you'll see over to the left, I'm holding a cell phone, I'm actually calling FISBOs live from the stage, piping it through the speakers. My students can call four FISBOs and schedule two to three appointments per call. So let me share with you just some of that, and I'm gonna share with you a magic dialogue. And for the power agents, this dialogue, you'll see under webinars, and there was a webinar I did just on this topic, okay? But for the rest, here's the dialogue that's on the website, I'm not going to go through all the dialogue because we have so much to cover, but let me just jump to this and you'll find this dialogue in prospecting. This right here, step three, clarify. So after you've done, hi, I'm calling about the house for sales is still available. Hi, this is Daryl Davis for Power Realty. The reason I'm calling is I noticed your ad or whatever, and I was wondering, are you working with brokers in the sale of your property? Now they're going to say yes or no and how you deal with yes or no will help you get on to the next part. But the next part about building relation, well, I'm looking at a copy of the ad and the house sounds lovely. I'm curious, did you write that yourself? You'll be amazed. That question is a segue question where they'll almost always answer that. Once they answer that question, it's kind of like tennis. Like you serve the ball and then they serve it back. And now, so you're gonna go back and forth, sorry, go back and forth asking questions about the property uh, bedrooms, baths, similar questions that a buyer would ask. And then you go on to the next set of questions about asking where they're planning on moving to their level of commitment, okay? Now, I promise you guys this dialogue, I wanna share this with you about the voicemail dialogue, very powerful. Uh, gang, where you'll find this dialogue is in the what's new in the prospecting tab of the power program. But let me go through it really quick. Hi, this is Daryl Davis of Power Realty. The reason why I was calling is I noticed you're selling your house and I have some important information about that. I might even have somebody who might be interested. I'm not sure yet because I need to get some inf more information from you first. Could you please call me back as soon as possible? Now, again, this message, my student, 50% of the time, the FISBO call you back. Now, if the FISBO calls you back and they know you're a realtor, you are absolutely gonna get that, that appointment. So very powerful dialogue. One question people ask me is, Daryl, what happens when they call and they say, what important information do you have? They never ask that question. I've never had a student say that's happened, but I will tell you the important information about it is how you market properties, but you're not gonna get into that until you get the appointment and you'll go over the, your marketing plan when you get into the house. So that's that dialogue there. Um, something else, again, you can do with the first sale by owners is offer things like one of the things we give our students is the, ser the serious seller's quick sell list. These are minor improvements that a homeowner can do to help increase the value. What we find that this flyer is a great icebreaker. It's a great mailing piece. It's a great doorstop thing for FISBOs. It's a gift of value, right? So that's the point, having some gift of value. Here's another one uh, in the for sale by owners marketing rules. 
Just to go over a couple of these, price your home at or just below market, overpricing could cost you more, stage your home to sell, make an attractive detail flyer about your property. I mean, these are essentially the things that we do as agents, but this is another mailing piece, um, advertisement piece that you can use. Um, and here's one of, this is a great ad, excuse me, please, for so we're trying to get an idea how much your house is worth. Like, in other words, you would run this ad where people are selling their house because <laughs> that's how FISBOs always price their property. They look at other current homes for sale. So this is a good place to place that ad. One last thing on this is, um, you know, I suggest that you write down, what do you do as a real estate agent? Now, we did this for our power agents, you know, the 100 top reasons. But how we created this is we sat down and said, what does an agent do for a homeowner? What are all the different things that we do? Because a lot of homeowners don't know how hard we work. Now, I also recommend that you do this yourself if you want, because when you're done, when you get to like number 30, it gives you a level of confidence. Like, wow, I work a lot for real for homeowners, you know, so therefore I de deserve a high commission. I do deserve to be hired. I work my tissue off for these people. But this is another great icebreaker or another mailing technique. So we've given you some advertising things and some things you can use to drop by. But the best technique with FISBOs is calling them just calling them is the best technique and i'll tell you later how you can get a list of, of fizzbos the second of the six was expires now let me just go over this expire whoops sorry again pressed the wrong button <laughs> um let, let me go over the expired dialogue this is also in the prospecting tab power agents steps or so hi may i speak with miss joan hi this is daryl davis power realty the reason why i was calling is i know your house had expired off the multiple listing i was wondering is it still for sale that is a great question it's a segue question they'll say yes or no you depending on how they answer yes or no you'll you'll deal with that then the next part to this is while well, i'm looking at a copy of the listing on the mls and i'm a little surprised it didn't sell why do you think that is that's a great question because that kind of gives you a sense of the homeowner's level of commitment. You know, how, you know, are they serious about selling? Are they upset with agents, like really angry or they're not upset, but they're disappointed. So that question, that's why we have the uh, step four is called gauge their commitment because it really helps you get a sense of the type of homeowner you're dealing with and it'll help you with the rest of the call. Um, also in the prospecting tab, gang, we put together this letter. Now, one of the things you can do with expires because you can't always get their phone number. So you can either drop by or you can mail out an expired letter that says, hey, I noticed your listing has recently expired and I want to make sure you hadn't given up on selling your home with rising interest rates. And this is a good time to take advantage of selling your house. So putting some kind of letter together like this in case you can't get their phone number. Again, I always love making calls first. Next one, number three, is old fizz, uh, old expireds and old fizzbos. Now, gang, with the expireds, definitely going back two years. They're easy to find because you can go into your MLS and you can search two years. Fizzbos, they're harder to find, but I will tell you um, how to find the last six months of old fizzbos. I'll show you that in a second. Here is the old FISBO dialogue that we put together for our power agents. And let's just take a look at it. Uh, step three is, hey, the reason why I was calling is I reckon sure you tried selling your home, you know, a year ago or six months ago. Is that correct? Well, the reason why I asked is because my company listed a lot of homes in the area around the same time. And those properties, those homes did wind up selling. Can I ask you, uh, were you folks thinking about selling again? Where are you thinking of moving to? Why there? So you can renew that old FISBO's, um, you know, commitment and uh, maybe come back to the market now. Houses for rent. This is another underutilized, like now business that you can do. Let me show you the dialogue that's in that prospecting tab for houses for rent. What you want to do, let's see where we're going to go. So on, this is how you would do the dialogue with the house for rent. Um, hi, I'm calling about the, the house uh, for rent. Is it still available? Hi, this is Daryl Davis, Power Realty. How are you? The reason I'm calling is I do see you're renting your place, but I was wondering if I had someone who wanted to buy your house for a nice profit, would that be something you'd be interested in? And then you continue on with the rest of the dialogue. So that's the killer question there. You know, the most important questions in these dialogues is that step three. 
What you can also do <clears throat> is send out a great seasonal flyer. This is a great time right now to be selling our properties. So another self farming and self promotion. Let me share with you my power agents. You know I'm really big on this company called Redex. You'll see on the screen <clears throat> that they provide expired FISBO houses for rent pre foreclosures. And to me, this is such a huge time management thing because instead of you trying to find the FISBOs, when you sign up, they give you access to all these. I just wanted to see what this looks like when you sign up. This is an example of what your account would look like. When you log in, it lists all of the new properties that are that came on the market, but it's also like a CRM. It keeps track of the ones that you contacted. If you set an appointment, did you list it and sell it? So what I love about this, not only are they giving you the leads, but it's like your CM, CRM for building your inventory with FISBOs, expires, houses for rent. It doesn't replace your current CRM. To me, current CRMs, whether it's top producer or market leader, those are awesome, especially when it comes to your past clients, um, people that you've worked with, to stay in touch with it. This is your CRM where they're handing to you on a silver platter. Every time a new physical comes to market, they're going to let you know about it. So instead of you trying to find it, and when you click on it, this is what it looks like. It gives you the address, the square footage, the phone number, the email, and they even have some dialogue there to making that call. Now, um, there's something else for our current power agents. You'll see something that's called Storm Dialer on the screen. They have this add-on product where it takes all of your leads and it actually dials them for you. Now, what's really cool is what you can do is control that by instead of actually calling those people, you can broadcast a voice message or if their voicemail answers, you can leave that, that FISBO dialogue that I showed you earlier. This storm dialer saves a tremendous amount of time. We know a lot of power agents who've been using this and having so much success. But I'm not gonna teach this now. I do wanna tell you for our power agents, I'm giving everybody our what we negotiated for our power agents. This is what it costs a month. But our power agents on the average spend about 150 a month for the Red X. But here's the best part. The setup fee is waived and the um, first 30 days is free. This is with the Red X company. So this is a separate company. I have nothing to do with it except I negotiated a great deal for our power agents. Now, I'm going to share with you. We have a lot of people on this call that are not power agents. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to show you a slide right now. Please do not share it with anybody else because Red X, um, they told me this is really just for our students. But because you're on this webinar, I can justify that you're a student, but do not share this with anybody in your office that is not on this call, please, because I can, I, can, I can have a challenge with them. If you go to this website, darylspecial.com, you'll see this screen. It looks just like that when you go to the website. If you type in the promo code SMILE, all capital, and that's important, it has to be all caps, you can get the 30 days free. They waive the $150 setup fee, and you can pick and choose. It's like a la carte. You can just do the FISBOs or just do the expires or do both. So you click what you want to do. My recommendation to our power agents is to do everything for the 30 days. Before the 30 days expires, you then pick and choose and decide, well, I'm not really using the pre-foreclosures. Let me get rid of that. So I'm not wasting money there. But you should try everything for 30 days. That's my recommendation. All right. So that's a gift for you guys. Two more things I'm going to share with you when it comes to the listing leads is orphans. What orphans are are people who bought or sold through your company and the agent who was involved in that transaction is no longer working in your company so what you would do is go to your broker ask your broker or manager for all the closed files of all the transactions where the agent is not working in the company anymore and you'll adopt those people into your your database so these will become now your clients now, the reason why this is now business, because when you call them, this is how the dialogue would go. You go. So you say, hi, may I speak with Hannah? Hannah, hi, this is Daryl Davis from Power Realty. The reason I, I, I'm calling is to apologize. It seems as though as you bought or you sold a house through our company several years ago, and the agent who was involved in that sale is no longer working for our company. So the reason for the apology 
is it seems as though we might have lost touch with you. So I've been appointed from our company to be your new representative. If you should ever have any real estate questions, I want you to feel free to call me. And they'll say, oh, that's really nice. It's wonderful. Thank you very much. And then you go on to the next questions. By the way, how are you enjoying the house? Have you made any major improvements? What do you like best about the neighborhood? Have you ever thought about moving again? If you were to move, where would you move to? If you can move to a larger home in a different neighborhood, same monthly payment, would that be of interest to you? Why don't I? And then you can actually turn this call into a possible listing appointment. What you could do before you make the call, if you wanted to, is you can send out a letter like this and it says, hi, I'm delighted to let you know. So I'm going to the second paragraph. I'm delighted to let you know that Mary Yada Yada has been specially selected to be your marketing specialist. So what this letter is, gang, instead of it being a letter from you, it's a letter from the broker sending it to the homeowner introducing you and then you can make the call so that's just another little classy thing to do um your broker manager is probably overwhelmed i would not put this on their plate what i would do is print out the letter and stick it under their face and ask them to sign it for you <laughs> or if you're really close to your broker you can just sign their their name <laughs> yeah that's not a legal problem okay number six is the door knocking uh, um, to do some door knocking, but offer a neighborhood market report. Now, let me explain what the neighborhood market report is. And let's see, we have a, a screenshot of this. I'm going back. Sorry, gang. <clears throat> First of all, those of you that sign up with the Red X, I want to show you a cool tool that they have. It's called Geo Leads. You may see it right there in the left. What it does is in your account, you can tell it to download all the people from a farm area that uh, maybe it says right there that they've owned the house for at least two years. And then you can download it. Check this out. Ooh, I love this. This is the download <clears throat> of those addresses in an Excel file. And over to the left, it'll tell you these people up for auction or you know, so you'll get some other information about them. But now you can do some door knocking. And, and let me show you what this looks like. The neighborhood market report Instead of a free CMA, which is what this is, we call it the neighborhood market report. Look at what that second line says. Find out what your neighbors paid for their home. The neighborhood market report helps homeowners better understand the current value, compares home values year over year, know the current value of their home, understand current market influences. So <clears throat> what you're doing is door knocking to people who've lived in their property for at least two years, which means they've developed some equity. They may have the itch perhaps, and you're, you, it's a way to introduce yourself, and it's a thing of value. That's the important thing. You're introducing yourself, it's a thing of value, saying, hey, listen, one of the things we're doing for homeowners in the area is giving them a neighborhood market report. You'll find out what other homes have sold for, what your neighbors paid for those homes. It helps figure out the determinant of your value. <clears throat> and the reason why we like wording it that way is because that's how homeowners think. Like when when Mary Jo, the neighbor, puts the for sale sign, you know what they do? They go like this, boy, Mary Jo selling a house? I wonder I wonder what she's asking, right? And then when they see the sold sign, what, what does she get? That house is not nearly as nice as mine. So if you say, listen, I can tell you what, what Mary Jo sold for. Oh, now, so, the, so instead of a CMA, the neighborhood market report is so much more powerful. People are more interested. So gang, we, here's the first thing we said, have a strong listing conversation, went through that. Number two, those are the now sources of leads. Let's now go into stay in focus and accountable. The third thing I wanna cover with you. You know, one of our students, uh, Mary Lynn, she opened up her own company, uh, was going through some challenging times. She had children. This woman, she went from 60 grand to 212 in just 12 months. And, and I'll, I'll for, never forget what she said to me. She said, Daryl, you really helped me get more focused in my career. And that's where it came from. So let me share with you a couple of things to help you stay focused. Now, I hope a lot of you are gasping right now from looking at this picture, because that's what I did. When I saw this, I, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm getting nauseous right now looking at it. I'm gonna tell you why I'm showing you this, is that I was sitting at, uh, in Google and I typed in a word called focus, right? And I wanted to see images that represented focus. And <laughs> this image came up. Now, come on, why would this image come up when you search the word focus? I'll tell you why. Do you think this woman is thinking about checking her Facebook uh, wall or, 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 or likes that she had? Do you think she's thinking, <laughs> I, I gotta check on the Twitter right now? This woman, she's she's got one thing that she's focusing on and that's not dying. 
she's focused on how the heck am I going to move my wrist to turn the thing to loosen the suction so then I can put the suction up on the wall and the next thing and, and get the hell to safety. This is what she's thinking. She's got focus. And here's my point. Some of us, we're not focusing on careers. We're going to the office and the, the, what we're thinking about is a lot of distracting things. One of the best things that will help you to have a surge in the next 90 days is focus on having a surge of listings in the next 90 days. Like you should be eating, sleeping, drinking, listing inventory for 90 days. Every day you should be going into the office and think, what can I do today that's going to help build my shoe store, build my inventory in the next 90 days? you got to have focus like this woman has. Now, let me give you a couple of tools to help you in doing that. I was watching uh, the news and I learned about this thing called the fallen heroes, our silent partners. Now, let me just give you a little background so you understand what this is. So the people that are the new recruits that are going to be border patrol agents, okay, in their training, they have these border patrol agents who died in the line of duty. And what they've done is they created like this little stat card for these, these, uh, these brave and wonderful people that have died in the line of duty. And they are giving it to the new recruits. And telling the new recruits, so this is your silent partner. This is, a, a, you know, one of your own that died in the line of duty. And while you're doing your job, you know, think of this person, your silent partner. So I said, you know, that's just a touching. I loved it. it. Touched my heart. So here's what we created for our power agents. We created your silent partner uh, card, similar concept where you would put a person's photo, your name and relationship, and you'd answer these questions. Why did I choose this partner? Now, this partner doesn't have to be somebody who died in your life. It could be, it could be a parent. It could be somebody close to you. Uh, it could be somebody who's alive, though. So it, it doesn't have to be somebody who's passed. Why did I choose this partner? The things I want to accomplish with my silent partner and, and how I would like my partner to feel about those accomplishments. Now I'm going to give you an example. This is my uh, fiance, April Elsner. We're using her as my silent partner. Um, and uh, so here's how I answer. She inspires me with her love and dedication to making the world a better place for people and animals is a smart businesswoman and wonderful partner. The things I want to accomplish with April is continue to build a company with a legacy of helping people design lives and careers worth smiling about. And I, how would I like able to feel about those accomplishments? I want her to be proud of me, proud of us, excited about every day's adventure and happy to be a part of the journey. So, so, so April is my silent partner in my heart. Even when she's not around, I'm thinking of her, this is what I'm committed to. So uh, we created this for our power agents, this little thing. You'll see it says time management, power agents. When you go to classroom, this, you will find it under the time management tab. Here's something else, is having a listing inventory chart to help you stay focused. I've, I've said this so many times in so many blogs, live webinars, um, uh, live seminars and, and webinars about building inventory, not just getting listings, but building inventory. Now, what you want to do is have a, 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 you want to keep growing your available listings. And in this market where things are selling quick, it's hard to do that. That's why you need some kind of chart to help you stay. What's the F word gang focused on doing that, right? Here's something else that we created. Uh, this is also in time management. This is a wheel where you would actually rate yourself in the categories of physical environment, your business, your financing, health, family, friends, growth. Like, so if you were to look at these areas in your life on a scale of one to 10, uh, one being that you would need therapy <laughs> and 10 life is grand how would you rate yourself in each one of these areas so you'll see it says current rating and your desired rating and the idea is like if there's an area in your life that's low and you want to bring it up that you might set specific goals and strategies in each one of those areas just picking three in each one of those categories gang these are things to help you prospect to help you stay focused on what you're working on I'm going to share one thing with you that I just finished reading this book, uh, Measure What Matters. Uh, Google and um, uh, IBM and a lot of other companies have used this approach, which is actually instead of setting a lot of goals, just setting uh, like one, two or three. So we created this flyer where 
you know, over the next three months, what's that one thing that you want to accomplish, right? So this would be uh, commitment number one. And then you'd have three strategies to accomplish that one commitment. Now, what you can do, I'm going to give you an example of what it looks like. So let's say your number one commitment is to get 12 listings in the next three months. Your strategy might be to call Fizbo's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from six to eight, improve your listing conversation book, get support from other people to help you stay focused. So that might be one commitment. You might have two or three others, but no more than three. The reason why is you want to stay focused and passionate about what you're accomplishing, right? Too much, sometimes uh, uh, less is more, right? Okay. Now, here's to summarize this, what we've talked about. Is you want to put together a strong listing conversation. The second thing is you want to stay focused on prospecting now leads on specific days and times. And the third is you want to have a support structure. You may want to become a power agent. I'm going to open this up to questions in just uh, a minute. Let me just share something that we're doing for you guys. If you want to get a lot of these slides and access to this stuff, if you go to that website after the power, uh, after this webinar today, the powerprogram.com webinar bonus, I'm going to skip our testimonial. I just want to remind you that this is only $27 a month. Gang, you can start asking questions. If you want to send those to Julie in that little panel there, because I'm going to answer questions in just a minute. You're going to receive the first 30 days for free. <laughs> Some people, you know what they've done, and it's okay. You can do this. You can sign up and, and get all the stuff and then cancel before the 30 days. <laughs> so I just told you how to rip me off. Okay. <laughs> all right. Here's the second thing. It's complete access to the entire website. This is all for 27, it slices and dices. You get the webinars on demand and a copy of today's slides, which to me, it's worth it for you to sign up just to get the copy of the slides today. Let me show you something else. Um, every week, there's coaching calls that you can talk to me every Monday. There's the dedicated website with a plethora of stuff. We have 12 months of past webinars and recordings. There's a digital power agent magazine where we interview our top agents every month and we transcribe that. There's recommended vendors. Gang, this really is a, tr there's a closed group for our power agents. It truly is incredible what we're giving our power agents. And this is all just for $27 a month. This is just a sample of some of what we went over today and some other stuff that you can get on the website. So if you go to the powerprogram.com forward slash webinar bonus, you can get the recording for today, all the slides today. You'll become a power agent. You'll have access. So that's where you want to go to sign up. You need to do that today because we're going to just offer it for today. Now, we're going to open it up to questions. Julie, do we have any questions for people? For people? We do. What does the L stand for in real listing uh, appointment? L stands for list and leave. So after you've gone through um, the A is advice where you're coaching them about your company and yourself and how you can help them get to their next level and get their property sold so they can move on in their life. Then you're going to talk about the pricing and listing and filling out the paperwork and leaving. So that's what that stands for. Next question. Wonderful. Um, any advice on being careful about the do not call list? Uh, great question. You have to do whatever your broker says to do. Um, but I will tell you, we've done a lot of research on this. And if somebody advertised as a for sale by owner and they're on the do not call list, all bets are off, you can call them. And the reason why is because they've advertised in a public arena saying, hey, I'm selling my house, call me. So it is totally legal based on our research, but you must do whatever your broker says to do. Now, for those of you with the Red X, when Red X gives you the FISBOs, um, they'll tell you who's on the do not call list. So you don't have to do the heavy lifting. They, they'll tell you that. What else, Julie? That's great. Um, where do they find the sample listing conversation book? The sample listing conversation book is uh, number one is we're going to email it to you, uh, the slides today, mm -hmm. for those of you that are power agents. Um, also, the power agents can find that in the listing conversation tab. That's where it'll be. It'll also be in the tab what's new because we just added it. So whenever we add something every month, it go it also duplicates it. So it's easy to find things. So go to the what's new tab. But you have to be a power agent to get that. So if you're not a power agent, sign up today. Get that 30 days free. During the 30 days, gang, you can download a lot of stuff from the website. I was joking about saying that I'm telling you how to rip me off. <laughs> 
but it's but honestly it's true you could do that i you can i have no problem with that people do do that and i'm fine with it because i want you to be able to have access to things i want you to download it and if you don't like it and you don't want to continue you don't think it's worth 27 dollars a month uh to talk to me once a week and get access to all this stuff then yeah you should cancel there's no problem you get to keep i mean come on that's an incredible deal you get to keep what you took uh during that 30 days my gift to you you know, I, God's got my back. It all works out in the end, right? What else do you got? <laughs> the best way to find those old FISBOs you were talking about. The Red X will have, um, uh, well, I, I know it sounds like I'm pushing Red X, but I am <laughs> because to me, it is the absolute best time saver for you. Um, I don't know of any other way to do it other than with Red X because Red X, when you sign up during that 30 day trial where you're paying zero, as soon as you sign up, they populate your account with the FISBOs for the last six months because this is what they do. So they have a database of all the um, leads that they find and they give it to their clients, but they keep uh, all the old ones for six months. So that to me is the best place to find it. Yes, go ahead, Julie. How do you get around the lack of experience if you're a newer uh, agent? How do you ensure confidence in a seller? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so for any of the new agents, that's part of why this we added that tab on the Power Program website, new agents, because we want to start helping new agents to get over some of these types of questions. I can tell you right now for the new agents that are, um, that are concerned about their confidence level, there's two things I'm going to suggest you do. Number one is put together a strong listing appointment, like I said. If you have a, most agents, even the most experienced agents don't have that strong, powerful listening conversation. They go in and they wing it. If I was going in for open heart surgery, I would not want my doctor to wing it. I want him to have a plan. I want him to have structure. I want him to have the tools. The same is true here. You go into a listing appointment, you're probably making as much money as some doctors do when they're doing surgery if that, that one listing sells. So you should go in with a clear, concise conversation. That's number one. Number two, is if you start getting appointments like I tell, tell you to do and you use the dialogue I give you and you focus on generating listing appointments, you can bring an experienced agent with you on the first few appointments so you get a sense of what's happening, so you get the lay of the land and then you can break out on your own. But most of the time, homeowners will not ask you how long you've been in real estate if you go in there with a strong listing conversation and you ooze confidence. <clears throat> the last thing I'll say on that, is because you don't have a lot about me, you know, about your credentials and stuff like that, I would just focus on your company. You know, focus on the power and the strength of your company, how long it's been around, how effective it is, and just skip the first section. What else, Julie? Um, if you had to make a choice, if you could only call one, either FISBOs or expires, which would you call? Um, <laughs> that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one because I, 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 all right, I'll tell you, expires. You know, I start with FISBOs because FISBOs, um, they're more plentiful. They're, uh, there's benefits to FISBOs. Expireds, if you're only going to call one, I would say do those first because they're easier. Expireds are easier to call because they already see the value in realtor. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I would say. What else, Julie? Do we have time? Um, how do they get on the coaching calls? All right. So here's what you guys have to do to get on the coaching calls. Um, what you do is, you have to be a power agent first. So if you go to thepowerprogram.com forward slash webinar bonus, you're gonna sign, when you sign up, you're gonna punch in your credit card and stuff like that. We're not charging you until day 30. So on 30 days, then you'll be charged 27 for the next 30, right? So once you become a power agent, you're not paying anything, you'll have access to everything. When you go to, you have take your username, password, you log into the website, you go to the word classroom, here, I'll show you what it looks like. Well, I'm going to just jump to this. Hang on. I'm actually going to the website. Nope, that's it. Oh, this is what the, 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 the Power Program bonus page looks like. So you're going to go to Webinar Bonus. You're going to sign in here. Okay. Once you sign up, you get your login. You're going to go to this tab. You're going to go to Classroom, and then you go to Coaching Calls. When you click on Coaching Calls, you will see the phone number of the calls every Monday and I'll be available to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, okay? All right, gang, I think we, all right. I, do, do you need to say something else, Julie, or uh, can I say goodbye to everybody? Say goodbye. 
All right, gang, listen, thanks for calling in. I hope I uh, gave you some value. Again, I just want to share with you the three things to stay focused on. Get good at those three things. Do whatever you got to. Learn yourself. Take other training. Take my training, whatever. But do those three things. And don't forget that woman on the ledge. You got to have on the building. Be focused for the next 90 days to build inventory. Shake the trees. I promise you, you will have a financial breakthrough. But it's up to you to stay focused. All right. Last thing I'm going to say, gang, as real estate agents, we don't help people just buy and sell real estate. We help people get to the next level. And so therefore, the more people you help make a difference in their life, the more business you will generate. The money you make is a gauge as to how many lives you've touched. So focus on that and the money will follow. Thanks for calling in, gang. This is Daryl Davis saying, until we talk again, don't forget to keep smiling. All right. Bye-bye, gang. Bye, everyone.